Number 41. I want to know how it feels to be out of my body. It feels just great, but I cannot put the experience down in words. To know exactly how great it feels, you must experience astral projection yourself. There are several techniques out there. Find one that suits you best and remember to practice consistently. You will soon know how wonderful an out-of-body experience can feel. Number 42. Is it possible to astral project without the elaborate nightly training that could tire us because instead of sleeping, we spend the entire night practicing? Some of us can practice at night while some can't. That's perfectly alright. If you cannot keep yourself awake after a tiring day, practice in the morning. There is no rule that you have to practice at night. In the morning, you will feel fresh, wide awake, and energetic as well. By the way, even if you practice at night, you should not feel tired. If you do your relaxation techniques right, it will make you more relaxed. Don't try too hard and get stressed about it. Take it easy. Number 43. Once I am out of my body, how do I stay out? During your first few projections, staying out of the body will not be very easy. Since the attraction between the physical body and the astral body is very powerful, your astral will want to jump back into the physical, and the physical will want the astral back just as badly. One way to stay out is to be very alert and conscious and exercise a strong power of will. Also, as soon as you astral project, move away from your physical body. This will help you stay out for a longer time. Number 44. How to switch your consciousness from your regular body to your astral body and know that you have done it successfully. I think you are just asking me how to astral project. Well, as I have said earlier, there are a number of techniques out there. You must try out as many as you can to find out the best one for you. One of these techniques will help you switch your consciousness completely from your physical body to your astral body. Everything depends on the technique and how seriously you practice it. Number 45. How do we astral project successfully when we are in the hypnagogic state without losing concentration? If you have reached the hypnagogic stage, you are very close to projecting yourself. Congratulations! There is not much you have to do now. You simply need to relax yourself further and visualize yourself floating out of your body. You can also employ the popular rope technique. Number 46. A video of some of the sequences of astral projection would be helpful. You can read it in a book and that is good, but sometimes you need personal instruction with some examples of people who tried it too. In my book, I have an entire section devoted to other people's experiences. You will learn a lot from there. Your suggestion for a video is a good idea. If possible, I will work on it. Number 47. What kind of things do we need in astral projection? I need comprehensive details on that. You don't need any material item in order to astral project. Some people take drugs or listen to astral projection MP3s. I am strictly against using drugs to achieve projection. You can, however, try listening to binaural MP3s. They will help you reach a deep level of relaxation. The tested and proven techniques of astral projection, which are usually a combination of relaxation, focus, and visualization, are best. To astral project successfully, you need to be dressed comfortably in loose clothes. You also need a quiet and undisturbed place and a burning desire to succeed. And yes, you need patience and the will to practice without giving up hope. Number 48. In order to astral project, one has to connect with their spiritual self. How do you do this? If you are religious, you could try religious prayers. Aspirants also try to chant mantras, do meditation, and practice yoga in order to connect with their spiritual self. You could try a method that suits your nature. Some people suggest becoming a vegan or a vegetarian. Keeping your mind free of negative thoughts, practicing universal love and forgiveness, and thought control is also of great importance. Number 49. Is there a way to cut through all the nonsense and just lie down and do it? You won't astral project as soon as you lie down. Maybe you can once you are really proficient with it, but if you are new, unfortunately, you cannot do that. If you want to astral project the right way, and with awareness, I am afraid that you must go through all the nonsense. And you must practice over and over again patiently till you succeed. 
Number 50. Other than practice, is there anything else that could help me be more efficient? Yes. You could work on enhancing your positive mental attitude. Surround yourself with things that make you happy and be relaxed and cheerful always. Do anything and everything that makes you feel positive, confident, and happy. Also, as I have said earlier, many practitioners recommend going vegan or vegetarian or doing a body detoxification regularly. But then, going vegan is definitely not a requirement. You can project even without being a vegan. Number 51. What type of thing can hold us back from astral projection besides fear and trying too much? Fear and doubts are probably the main obstacles to a successful astral projection. Your religious beliefs can also hinder your progress. If you feel that God will be angry with you if you astral project, you might not be able to astral project. The only thing that will prevent you from having an astral projection is you. So work on your thought patterns and belief systems and get into a state of mind favorable for astral projection. Number 52. Will I be able to travel anywhere I want to? Once you become proficient, you can travel almost wherever you want to. In the astral, it is your thoughts that take you to places. So it is vitally important that you need strong control over your thoughts and emotions. This is not an easy thing to do, but you will become better and better after every successful projection. If you need to travel to faraway places like outer space and other planets, you will also need to control your speed, which again comes with practice. Number 53. Is it true that even experienced projectors sometimes have difficulties in projecting? It is possible. Experienced projectors are just like most of us leading a normal life on Earth with regular jobs or businesses. They may have stress in their lives or may even have medical conditions that make them unfit for projection. These factors can make it difficult even for an experienced projector to have an astral projection. But these are temporary roadblocks. Once the obstructing factor is taken care of, they can again project easily. I should also mention that experienced projectors could handle their emotions and stress better than most non-projectors, and they can also heal themselves faster. Number 54. I mostly have had out-of-body experiences involuntarily and just go with the process and think of something I want to do while it's happening but I have trouble putting myself into an out-of-body experience voluntarily. You are fortunate enough to have spontaneous out-of-body experiences. However, if you want to achieve better control of it, you will have to exercise strong willpower, practice your meditation, relaxation, and visualization techniques. Many people do it, and I am sure with the right guidance, even you can do it. Number 55. Why can't I leave my body at will no matter where I am? whenever I want to and no matter what circumstance I am in. Most experienced astral projectors can leave their bodies anywhere and at any time. However, if you are doing it for the first time or are just not experienced enough, you had better find a quiet and undisturbed place to practice till you feel that you are perfect. Number 56. Can I see my future while I am out of the body? How do I know that the future I just saw is the real future? Our future is not set in stone. It is a probability. When you are astral projecting, it is possible to see the future, but not always at will. You need to remember that there are many higher dimensional energies that are shaping, molding, and guiding our lives, and we cannot control them. If there is something important about our future that will help us evolve, and if the time is right for us to know it, I believe we will be given a glimpse of it. But if it is not important, or if it doesn't help us in any way, then we will not be able to see it. We cannot decide what is right or wrong for us. It has to be decided by the energies that control us. Intuition and precognitive abilities are really strong on the astral plane. So if you do happen to see your future, you will know it is the real future. Number 57. I believe that the future is not set in stone, but there always is one possibility that is most likely to happen. How do I get to that, and how can I change that if need be? Yes, even I strongly believe that the future is not set in stone. If you were fortunate enough to be shown your future, you would be shown the possibility that is most likely to happen. And the only way you can change it is by changing your present. Analyze your present well, and make the required correction to possibly alter the probable future. 
Number 58. Is it possible to move forward or backward in time through astral projection? Yes, it is possible to go backward in time and see the past. You can do it through the Akashic Records. But again, not every astral projector will be able to do it. You need to be quite advanced to be able to access these records. And even if you do access the records, chances are that you will be able to see only those events of the past that are directly connected with you, either in this life or previous lives. It is similar to being handed the keys to your only room. You cannot open other rooms and peep inside. If you want to see the past of other people or events, you need to have good intentions and a strong reason to do so. Number 59. Can I see lottery results accurately? Or can I see tomorrow's stock market? I know I would disappoint many of you with my answer, but I prefer not to sugarcoat things. So here it is. Remember the astral plane is governed by an entirely different set of laws and rules. If you're winning the lottery ticket is for highest benefit of all concerned, then maybe you can see the lottery results, or maybe even tomorrow's stock market. But if it is just for selfish personal gains, then maybe not. You cannot hide your intentions on the astral plane. Let's assume you want to win the lottery just for your personal interest, but you are smart. You go to the astral plane and repeat to yourself, I want to help all the poor people with the lottery money masking your real intention, trying to cheat, but it won't help. You can never hide your real intentions in the astral. So if you really want to see the lottery results, you need to have the right intention first. Only then maybe you can. Even then, it is a maybe, because as I said, it has to be of the highest good for everyone. Was I blunt? Maybe. But remember, I said I would not sugarcoat my answer. Number 60. What is remote viewing? Is it astral projection? Remote viewing is not astral projection. Remote viewing or RV happens when you just have to think of a particular place to hear sounds, see things, smell odors, and get messages from that place, irrespective of how far it is. Usually, remote viewing is spontaneous, but can be learned. Number 61. Can my solar plexus or navel be displaced after astral projection? No. Your physical body will not be harmed in any way because of astral projection. Number 62. I want to know more about my career. Astral projection will surely help you become more intuitive and help you decide which career is best for you. But if you are not an astral projector, I suggest you can use dream control to get answers to your career related questions. You need to practice remembering your dreams. Once you are good at that, just before going to sleep, you ask a question and request for an answer. In the next few days, you will intuitively be provided with the right answer, either through your dreams or otherwise, and the answer will be the one best for you. If you want to know more about dream control, you might want to check out my audio course. There is an entire chapter devoted to tips on how to recall your dreams. Number 63. I love a girl, but she considers me just a friend. Can I get her to really love me? Your question makes me feel that you want to gain control over her feelings, which is really not possible because the girl has a free will. If you really love her, show her that you love her. Wait patiently till she reciprocates your feelings. However, you cannot forcibly get her to love you. If you can astral project, you can show your love in the astral plane too. This will strengthen your relationship in the physical plane. But whether she wants to be with you or not is her choice. So respect that and move on. Number 64. Why should I astral project? What possible benefits can it give me? First and foremost, you must astral project for the fun of it. In addition to the fun factor, astral projection has a number of benefits. The experience will help you recall your previous lives so that you can understand your present one better. You will also notice that your psychic abilities have sharpened. You will develop a sense of inner peace and calmness. Astral projection will teach you to love life and will confirm your belief in life after death. These are just a few benefits of astral projection. Number 65. How can astral projection influence or improve my own life and the lives of others who are close to me? Astral projection will make you more spiritual and will increase your knowledge of life. You will become a contented, peaceful, and loving person. 
When those who are close to you notice these changes in you, they will be greatly influenced by you. They might even change for the better and become more positive themselves. Number 66. How do I acquire talents on the astral plane and keep them on the physical plane? You will carry your experiences and any knowledge you acquire in the astral to your physical world. For instance, if you are a writer, you might notice that your talents have become finer. You really don't have to put in any special effort to remember acquired talents or forcibly keep them on the physical plane. If you acquire any new talent in the astral, you will automatically bring it to the physical. Number 67. Can I go wherever I want? Yes, you can go wherever you want. As I said in a response to a previous question, the sky is not the limit. You can go and explore what lies beyond it if you wish. Number 68. Can I 100% control my projection or I will go to unknown places independent of our will? You can control your astral experiences, but it will take practice. Initially, you might find yourself unable to control where you go or the speed with which you travel. You might travel too fast and find yourself far away in outer space. Irrespective of where you go or how far you go, you will always be able to get back to your physical body by just thinking about it. With practice, you will be able to move according to your will. Number 69. Can astral projection help me get more psychic? Most psychic phenomena occur because the psychic is able to become more in tune and sensitive to the energies around him or her. Since astral projection gives you access to frequencies and planes other than the physical, your sense of awareness sharpens, enhancing your psychic abilities. As a result, you will also become more intuitive as well. Number 70. Can I get rid of my bad habits with astral projection? Most bad habits are rooted deep into your subconscious, and if you want to get rid of them, you need to do so through your subconsciousness. You need to do so through your subconscious. When you astral project, you get direct access to your subconscious mind, and while in that state, if you affirm that you want to get rid of your bad habits, you will get success much faster. Also, astral projection will give you a deeper understanding of your life, which will make you a wiser, better human being. You will start respecting yourself and your physical body more. So if you have any habits that harm your physical body, it will be easier to eliminate them. Number 71. Can astral projection give me power to control anyone's mind? Astral projection will give you enough power to control your own mind, not that of others. You see, everybody has got free will and you cannot really control anybody or anything. The only person you can control is you. Number 72. Can astral projection help me become a better person? Astral projection will enhance your knowledge and understanding of life. You will become more calm, peaceful, loving, and patient. You will start valuing life and will start taking adversities in the right perspective. This will help you enrich your life and make you a happier and wiser person. Number 73. How does it feel to fly in the astral world? Flying is always an awesome experience. You do not have any fear of falling or hurting yourself. You cannot crash in the mountains. You will not face any breathing problems. You can fly as high or as low as you wish to. It is simply a wonderful feeling. Many people get attracted to astral projection just because they want to fly. They do realize later that there is more to astral projection than just flying. Number 74. Can astral projection prove life after death? When you astral project, you leave your physical body and still survive. You can even look at your supine body lying on the bed. This proves that you can survive without the physical body. So astral projection does prove that there is life after death, and that human consciousness can survive and continue to exist independent of the physical body. Number 75. Can it eliminate my fear of death? Astral projection will help you realize that you can continue to exist even without your physical body. This will completely eliminate your fear of death. You will know for sure that you will never cease to exist and that you are immortal. In fact, this is the first valuable lesson that astral projection will teach you. Number 76. 
How can astral projection help me find my life's purpose? Before we take birth on the physical plane, I believe we all decide for ourselves what would be our life's purpose. But as we grow up, most of us forget the reason for which we were sent here. If you really desire to find your life's purpose while in the astral, you will be able to recall what you were meant to do in this life. When you know that, you will get a renewed enthusiasm and a new direction to your life. Number 77. How can astral projection help me improve my health? Before you can astral project, you need to relax completely. This naturally has a positive effect on your health. Besides, when you astral travel, you can gain a better understanding of life and therefore learn to shed unnecessary worries and negative thought patterns. This has a huge positive effect on your health. Moreover, when you are in the astral realm, you get an abundant amount of universal cosmic life energy that has got amazing healing powers. This not only improves the health of your physical body, but also helps you improve your mental health. Number 78. How can astral projection protect my family? When you are astral projecting, you can visit your family members just to check if everything is alright with them. Since astral projection gives you a better understanding of the past and future, you can warn your family members if you sense bad times ahead. If you are an expert projector, you can also manipulate energies for the protection of yourself and your family members. Number 79. How can astral projection help my body, mind, and soul? Astral projection calms your mind and relaxes your body. This improves your physical health and puts you in a better state of harmony with the rest of the universe. Astral traveling is beneficial to your soul because it teaches you a number of things that are necessary for its growth and development. Number 80. How can astral projection help me work out issues on the physical plane with others? Astral traveling will give you the right perspective about life and help you shed your ego. Most issues with people are ego clashes. If you can understand your true nature, you will not let your ego come in between you and your relationship with others. For other issues with people, astral projection will help you effectively communicate with their subconscious. You cannot manipulate them, but you can put forward your point of view. And if your views are right, they would understand it on a subconscious level. Accept your point of view and help resolve the issues. And any issues resolved on a subconscious level are more permanent in nature. You will also find that relationships healed in the astral become stronger in the physical. Number 81. Are there any karmic consequences to the astral activity? I genuinely believe that if you do something wrong in the astral or physical, you need to be answerable to it someday, and you need to pay a price for it in some way or another. So all your actions should be done with a clean heart and mind. So to answer your question, yes, there are karmic consequences to whatever you do. Number 82. Will astral projection take care of my spiritual development? Definitely. In fact, astral projection is all about spiritual development. There are many other fun reasons why you can astral project, but evolving yourself spiritually should be your main goal. Number 83. What life's lesson will I learn from astral projection? You will learn everything that you want to learn and everything that you need to learn. Astral projection will make you a wiser person. Deepen your understanding of life and improve your knowledge of many things. Number 84. Will astral projection change me? Astral projection will definitely change you, for the better. You will find a number of positive changes within you when you consistently practice astral projection. Number 85. Can I solve mysteries of the universe using astral projection? You will gain a better understanding of them. However, you cannot know everything because knowledge is as endless and unlimited as creation itself. You must also remember that ordinary human beings cannot access the highest astral planes such as the mental and the buddhic planes, which are seats of greater knowledge, power, and understanding. Number 86. 
Can astral projection help me teleport to other places in this world? Teleportation is a process through which you can move your physical body from one place to another. If you consider teleportation in the strict sense of the word, then no, you cannot teleport to other places. This is because in astral projection you move in the astral body, not in the physical body. Number 87. Can astral projection help me evaluate and make corrections to my present incarnation? Yes. As I answered in a previous question, astral projection will help you understand the reason why you are here. Once you know your life's specific purpose, you will be able to see where you were wrong and what changes you need to make to fulfill that purpose. Number 88. Can astral projection help me perform miracle healings like Christ? You can use your experiences in the astral plane to enhance your healing abilities. In the physical world, you can use these abilities to heal the sick. You won't work magic, but you will definitely get a healing touch and a better understanding of what ails your patients. You must also remember that everybody has got a free will. You can heal the sick only if the sick want to be healed. You can never know the agenda of every soul on earth. What if the soul desires sickness to learn some valuable lessons? In that case, your healing powers might not work. Number 89. Can astral projection help me see God? Seeing God is just as difficult as seeing love. God is abstract, not concrete. Therefore, God can only be realized and experienced. Astral projection will help you experience God if that is what you want. Number 90. Is astral projection a pathway to enlightenment? You will definitely find yourself more enlightened than you were before you learned to astral project. The astral plane is a place of learning, love, forgiveness, and reconciliation. People do learn a lot there, and these valuable lessons can definitely lead to enlightenment. However, a lot depends on what you mean by enlightenment. Do you mean salvation or moksha? The soul needs to do a lot of work before it can attain that final stage of union with the Supreme Consciousness. 